The administration has pivoted from its health care debacle and turned to another favorite issue, immigration enforcement, specifically targeting so-called sanctuary cities, those places that have said they will not cooperate with federal immigration officers when it comes to unauthorized immigrants. This week, Attorney General Jeff Sessions drew a line in the sand. Such policies cannot continue. They make our nation less safe by putting dangerous criminals back on the streets. Sessions pointed to the recent release of the Decline Detainer Outcome Report from the Department of Homeland Security, which showed more than 200 instances of jurisdictions refusing to honor immigration and customs enforcement detainer requests. Sessions said sanctuary city policies endanger the very people they're intended to protect. Today, I'm urging states and local jurisdictions to comply with these federal laws, including 8 U.S.C. Section 1373. Moreover, the Department of Justice will require that jurisdictions seeking or applying for Department of Justice grants to certify compliance with 1373 as a condition of receiving those awards. U.S.C. Section 1373 requires local jurisdictions to cooperate with ICE requests for information on the immigration status of any individuals. Sessions said the administration will, quote, claw back funding for any jurisdiction that's getting DOJ money currently and said they will withhold grants, terminate grants, and render jurisdictions ineligible for future grants if they don't comply. The mayor of the state's largest city was defiant. Ras Baraka called the policy, quote, both illegal and unconstitutional and said Newark, will join other sanctuary cities to take legal action against this misguided policy. In North Hudson County, where the majority of the population is made up of immigrants, West New York Mayor Felix Roque was less outwardly defiant, but no less opposed to the policy. I took an oath, and the oath was to protect the residents of West New York, and they are the same as us. Uh, they're, you know, human beings just like us. It doesn't matter to me, color, creed, or religion. I'm here to protect him, and that's what I took an oath to do, and I am going to protect him. Meeting in Washington with families of recently deported immigrants, New Jersey Senator Bob Menendez said he's introducing legislation to fight the administration's policy. The usually reserved senator moved to tears this morning. When I listen to the president speak, he talks about bad hombres. Well, certainly their father, Rose's husband, they're not bad hombres. Meanwhile, Governor Christie showed none of that emotion. If they engage in voluntary conduct, then they think it's important enough for their taxpayers to pick up the tab. Their call. Mayor Phillip, Mayor Baraka, have at it. Jersey City Mayor Steve Phillip, whose city just got almost $2 million in federal funds to hire new cops, had no comment today. It's unclear when the Trump administration would start to claw back funds but a legal challenge is sure to follow its first attempt. In Jersey City, I'm David Cruz, NJTV News.